The year may be 2024, but here in my home theater, I'm running a piece of equipment that really is outdated by today's standards, I think at least in the eyes of most home theater enthusiasts. And that piece of equipment is a VCR. That's right, in 2024, I'm running a VCR here in my home theater. If you wanna know why I'm running such an old piece of equipment with kind of a dead format, then stay tuned. You know, if you watch my channel and watch any of my content, you'll see a handful of themes kind of running through all my different videos here on the channel. The big one, of course, is buying things secondhand. Almost everything I have here in my home theater is secondhand, and that's like the big one. I mean, that's the name of my channel, that's the whole main point of this channel is to talk about used equipment that you can find secondhand. Uh, going along with that, you'll find that I also really enjoy finding older high-end equipment, especially for a used price that's at a bargain bin deal that can still give you some life and still give you some really good audio and visual quality here in your home theater in 2024. Well, here today in this video, I'm gonna be talking about a used piece of equipment that I picked up. I'm talking about why I have a VCR in my home theater setup in 2024. So yeah, why am I running a VCR in my home theater setup in 2024? The big reason is that much like certain DVD releases and certain Laserdisc releases like the AC3 Laserdisc, VHS tapes have certain audio mixes that are pretty much exclusive or semi-exclusive to the VHS format. And because of that, that's the reason I'm running a VCR setup in my home theater here in 2024. Now, admittedly, the video quality, the picture quality on a VCR is not gonna be the greatest. I mean, even by my standards, who I'm someone that does enjoy lower def quality stuff. You know, I am a big proponent and still watching like DVDs and things like that here in 2024, that that is still a viable option, depending how your home theater is set up. Even for me, someone who really pushes DVDs and older formats, VHS quality is still not the greatest in terms of picture here in your home theater. But like I said just a minute ago, the big catch is the audio side of things. A lot of people may not understand that a fair amount of VHS tapes have Dolby surround encoded surround sound tracks. Now, are they as high definition as modern day soundtracks, even on catalog releases, you know, for DVDs, Blu-rays, and like 4K releases? No, probably not, you know, just because of the analog format and the actual level of encoding and the amount of space, uh, you know, physical space that the VHS tape has versus digital media like a Blu-ray or a 4K or even a DVD. Those formats, the disc space formats, have more storage. So generally, you're going to get a better quality surround sound mix. But that's not to say that the VHS audio mixes are bad. Certain mixes on these VHS tapes are somewhat exclusive to VHS or they were more exclusive to say Laserdisc, but then got ported over in this Dolby surround matrix kind of setup on a VHS tape. So you could essentially get the Laserdisc audio of certain films that was like an AC3 encoded Laserdisc in a slightly lesser quality on a VHS tape. Now, in order to experience something like that, you need a few specific things. You can't just grab any VCR and just throw a tape in there and expect that to happen. That's not really the case. So essentially what you need is not only a VHS tape that has a Dolby Surround encoded audio track on it, which a lot of tapes have that. What you need is some version of a VCR that is hi-fi stereo. It'll say that on the VCR in some fashion, either on the back of the VCR by the serial number. A lot of times it'll be posted on the front faceplate somewhere. It'll say hi-fi stereo. And that's what you need. And that basically means that it is capable 
of kind of passing through the Dolby surround audio that's on these tapes. The other piece of equipment you're gonna need is a surround sound setup. You know, it can be any level of five channel, seven channel, nine channel, that doesn't really matter. But you need a surround sound receiver or processor that can decode Dolby Pro Logic. Essentially, that's all you need is Dolby Pro Logic. And it will matrix out the two channel stereo surround signal that is on these tapes and then put it into a standard surround sound format in your home theater. Now, I had hi-fi stereo VCRs when I was growing up, way back, you know, 20 some years ago. But at the time, I didn't have the proper surround sound equipment to utilize what that type of VCR was capable of doing. I was just using the standard speakers that were built in to the TV that I had. So I wasn't fully utilizing the potential there. And then a few years later, when I did get my very first, very small, low budget home theater in a box, kind of cube satellite speaker audio setup for my bedroom when I was in high school, I kind of had this mentality that I was beyond VHS and I really only cared about DVDs. So it never even occurred to me to hook up a VCR to test this out. But here now in 2024, this is a big reason why I have the VCR set up in my home theater. The one I have here in my home theater that you'll see in some B-roll footage is an RCA v VCR. It has the actual serial number or model number. I'll kind of throw it in here. Uh, it's basically the same model number that just has repeated over the years with different incarnations. This one is from the late 90s to early 2000s. It's like a blackish gray color. It's got neon green uh, buttons and stuff on it that kind of light up and everything. I'm not a huge fan of that. That doesn't really matter to me. The reason I use it here in my home theater and why it got picked as the home theater dedicated VCR is that I never had a problem with it. It played tapes without eating any tapes, no playback issues, and it is compatible with my Logitech Harmony remote. So those are the big reasons. And of course, it is a hi-fi stereo VCR so I can get the Dolby surround audio. Now that's exactly the reason why I bought the VCR and have this running in my home theater. I'm gonna try not to shoot actual footage. I'm gonna try and keep it to like the THX opening or something that hopefully won't get copyright struck. But I'm gonna try and hopefully capture the audio and visual quality that you can get on a VHS with the Hi-Fi VCR and a properly set up home theater, you know, here in 2024. Now I will say one other thing. Outside of a couple VHS tapes I have, I've really started to collect widescreen VHS tapes that have the Dolby surround encoding on them. And these are similar to Laserdisc. So they're widescreen, but they're cropped in a 4.3 picture box, uh, you know, standard full frame picture box. So it's really cramped and squished down because it was made to be used on old school box like CRT TVs. However, if you have either a projector or a kind of like AV processor or whatever that can expand the image uh, like I have, that will then blow up that 4.3 image into the standard anamorphic 16.9. And so you're gonna get a normal 16.9 picture on the screen. Again, I'm someone who still likes to push older technology especially like DVDs and stuff still here in the home theater in our modern, you know, setups. VHS is really pushing it. Uh, it's really even on the cusp for someone like me of being watchable. Um, it, it really kind of pushes the limits there. But I am going to try and show you now just a couple little clips of uh, the movie and stuff in the audio quality. And hopefully you guys will get to experience in part a little bit of why it's a good idea to maybe run one of these VCRs with hi-fi stereo here in your home theater setup.
Star Wars, the only way it's been possible, on the TV screen. But if you've only seen it this way, you haven't seen it at all. Now, for its 20th anniversary, the adventure of a lifetime returns to the big screen in a way you've never seen before. There'll be no one to stop us this time. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only help. With newly enhanced visual effects. They're coming in too fast! VHX and digital sound. And a few new surprises. <laughs> What's a double run? Look, Chopper, next time you want to talk to me, come see me yourself. Here they come! This January, George Lucas and 20th Century Fox invite you to welcome back Luke Skywalker, Princess Leia, Han Solo, Darth Vader, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Chewbacca, C-3PO, and R2-D2. Finally, the motion picture event, the way it was meant to be experienced. This will be a day long remembered. As the entire Star Wars trilogy returns. On January 31st, Star Wars. On February 21st, The Empire Strikes Back. Then on March 7th, Return of the Jedi. Move closer! For a whole new generation who have yet to experience it on the big screen. And for everyone else yeah. to experience it again. Another. The Star Wars Trilogy Special Edition. See it again for the first time. The Force will be with you always. So, yeah, there you go. There's just a couple little clips. Hopefully they don't get copyright struck. We'll see what happens. But that's just hopefully a little taste of the audio and visual quality you can see and hear in a home theater in 2024 with a Hi-Fi VCR. I know this isn't the greatest representation. I mean, the quality, especially on the picture side, is not going to be the greatest anyways from a VCR in this kind of setup. And then going through YouTube, I'm sure it's not going to look the best there anyways. But hopefully that gives you a little insight. Maybe go out and experience VCRs and VHS tapes in hi-fi stereo in 2024. They're, you know, out there in abundance. I mean, you just want to make sure that the VCR actually works, doesn't eat tapes. Uh, the v VHS tapes are like all over the place. You can find them, you know, in any normal like thrift store really, you know, and you can find, you know, them all over the place. So they're definitely out there. But maybe this will give you just a little taste of something like that. And so with that, I'm going to close this video up like I always do. I'm going to say thank you to everyone out there. Definitely leave a comment down below, you know, if you are using a VCR in your setup, if you would consider using a VCR in your setup. Uh, you know, definitely let me know some memories of using a VCR if you're old enough on there. Definitely consider liking and subscribing to my channel if you like the content I produce here. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you the next time in the next video here on Secondhand Home Theater.